DCMyTV.com are right here with one of the twin towers standing at six foot four, top welterweight, Mike Fox. Mike, what's going on, brother, man? How you? Hey, what up, Mike? I'm good, man. I just finished up in the gym, man. Thanks for having me. All right, that's good to hear, Mike. Um, Michael Fox, he'll be taking on Mean Machine. I'm pretty sure a lot of you casual boxing fans and hardcore boxing fans know who Mean Machine is. Kavaloskis, who fought, you know, the likes of Terrence Crawford and Virgil Ortiz. Mike Fox will be fighting him October the 8th. Mike, you've been out the ring, I want to say, a little over a year. Both of you guys have been out the ring for a good while. Um, you know, this has been happening in boxing, you know, lately. How come, you know, good fighters like yourself has been out the ring a long time? I mean, obviously, your last fight, you got robbed. Most, you know, the you know public thought you got robbed. How was it that you have been out of the ring so long and you weren't able to get a fight in between? Well, it was just a few things out of my control. I mean, you know, PBC, um, they, they, they're dealing with stuff on their side with the business end, stuff that, you know, that's over over top of uh, uh, over top of myself. You know, we're just, we're, they just provide the platform, but, you know, I, um, it's not for lack of PBC trying, though. They tried to get me on a card last October and the last, and, and a card last April. Things just kept falling through, man. So, you know, now we're here. We're on a uh, we're on a Pandora uh, Carlos Ocampo undercard, and you know we've both been out 14 months. So I mean it's good it's good timing, and, and whoever wins uh, gets to gets back in the talk in the uh, talks at the uh, at the top of the division. Okay, wow, you're yeah, so sad that boxing will never be like it was. You know, in the 80s, 70s, and 60s, boxing is literally a straight business now. Like everybody trying to get you know the most uh bang for their buck and you know i guess i guess just just the way you know the game goes but moving forward from that kevaloskis um so the obvious question right i'm pretty sure you know you don't feel like it's going to be any rust involved i'm pretty sure you know um kevaloskis probably feels the same way there's no ring rust going to be involved um is um uh, is any training is your training different this camp as opposed to any previous camps before let me say you know box has always been a business man you know those guys in seven days they, they tried to get as much money as they could for the time um there's no it's not much different now but even still um as far as training goes we were uh we just picking up the pace we're picking up the intensity but we uh, me and me and Michelle have both been out of the ring for about 14 months. So if there's ring rust, I think we've been out the same time. So we'll we'll both be able to hide it. It'll be about who can make the adjustments. Okay, and speaking of uh, Kavaloskis, um, what do you think he ranks, you know, compared to your, I want to say your last three opponents? What do you think he ranks at? Is he, do you think he's any better? Or do you think the last three opponents you fought is better than uh, Kavaloskis? I mean, he's definitely the most noteworthy. You know, he's been in big fights with Virgil Ortiz and Terrence Crawford. He came up short, but he made it all the way to a world title opportunity. So, um, uh, he has to, he has to definitely be ranked the highest just off of that. What can the fans expect from Mike Fox on October the eighth? I mean, y'all know what I come to do. You know, box. You know, look impressive, um, and you know, just be victorious. You know, I'm tall. I put expect me to expect me to uh, be using the jab a lot. Expect me to be landing uh, shots from across the ring. You know, using my using my height advantage, uh, using my height to my advantage. I'm back outside. 